Right. Welcome to Learn Domain. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to write a business plan for any of the business. Because as you know, whenever someone has incepted any enterprise or a business, they should have a clear understanding as well as the goal, what is that they want to achieve. At the same time, the kind of strategy they follow. Followed by this, what, what is the nature of the business, knowing about the competitors, finances, all that. So this is the business plan report, which is useful for the entrepreneurs, maybe for there to have a clear understanding about what is that they are doing, or this may be used for them to present something to get some funding from outside, either from a financial institution or from an uh, investors and all everything outside. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how to write a business plan. So here are the agenda points are as follows. In this agenda, I'm going to discuss about what exactly business plan is all about and why to write a business plan, how to write a business plan and how to create a business plan. So these are the points I'm discussing in today's video. Now, if you see a business plan, what exactly business plan is all about? It's a kind of document which majorly describes about the kind of business an entrepreneur is uh, establishing at the kind of at the same time the kind of products and as well as the services which normally they offer. Followed by that, whatever the kind of uh, leadership, right? They about the management or the leadership, followed by the kind of expert manpower they have. Apart from that, the financing operations model, all that. So this is all to explain that generally this business plan is being used for. That is what generally business plan stands for. Now, the second point we would like to know about, why to write a business plan? So writing a business plan will help you to evaluate the feasibility of a business before going to start something. Wherein here we are trying to understand about making people to understand about vision, mission, business goals, etc. Which includes planning, evaluation, ideas, research, recruiting, partnerships, competitions, etc. When we are talking about the planning part, it is something that which is an exercise for clarifying the ideas, which can be helpful to understand the scope of the business, as well as the amount of time, money, as well as resources we require to get started. When you talk about evaluating ideas, where whatever the kind of rough business plan for each, one can help your focus, your time, and as well as energy. Followed by this, the kind of uh, highest chances of success and all everything is what generally comes under evaluating ideas is all about. Whereas when we talk about the research, which majorly focusing on the kind of uh, understanding over the kind of customers followed by the competitors information, so that it will helpful for us to take some strategic decisions over a period of time. Next, when we talk about recruitment, it's a kind of uh, communicative uh, this thing where we have to communicate as well as uh, we need to recruit right persons for the right place. This is what generally recruiting and what kind of recruiting process are we following all these things, especially in reference to the new hires all that. Next is about partnerships like do we have any kind of partnerships to expand our business or to have a uh, business connect with other people, all that stuff. That is all comes under the partnership part. Followed by this, whoever the competition, like business plan competitions, right? So whatever the competitions do we have and all everything will be explained under this competitions part. So whenever we are writing a business planning, uh, why to write a business plan in that? Planning will be included in it, evaluating the ideas, research, recruiting, partnership, followed by competitions, etc. Now, the next point is all about how to write a business plan. Means most of the people will have some confusion over how to write the business plan because not I'm not generalizing this. Some people may have some confusion. 
in order to avoid that confusions and all that, in order to remove those confusions, this is what I'm explaining to you. How to write a business plan? So there are four major steps we need to focus. The first thing is about, we need to have in a clear understanding about the kind of goal, what is that we want to achieve. Goal must be very specific, very clear to reach with. At the same time, we must be knowing about the audience, who are our audience and targeted audiences of our business as well as the services must be explained here well in advance. At the same time, whenever we are preparing a business plan, it should be as simple as it is because there should not be so much of detailing of about uh, all the informations and all, which is not so required because uh, when we are presenting something, the presentation should be something very small and simple to understand it. At the same time, whenever we are preparing a business plan, it's not only about how you are explaining it, but equally we have to spend some amount of time in terms of the research, which is essentially required for us to have an idea over what is that we want to do all that stuff. Now, last point but not least, when we talk about how to create a business plan, to create a business plan, there are some steps to be taken into an account. The first thing is about executive summary, which we have to ex explain. This wherein executive summary majorly explains us about the kind of business goals and as well as the visions, what we have in business, what we want to do. At the same time, we should explain about the business concepts, like what does your company do, all that. Followed by this, we must ex we must have a clear, this is all something relating to executive summary. Please do remember that. So we need to explain about the product description as well as the differentiations on that, followed by target marketing, marketing plan, about the financial state, right? So projected financial state, all that stuff. The second thing is about overview of the company, where we need to give what exactly the structure of our business is all about means what kind, of what kind of business structure do we have? Is it uh, a partnership firm or a public limited or it could be in uh, sole proprietorship, all that. So that information has to be mentioned. At the same time, nature of the business, what is that the services are we going to uh, uh, render to the people? At the same time, which sector as well as, as industry we belongs to? Followed by this, we must explain about the kind of uh, vision, mission, strategy, values, tactics, all that of your business, business vision, strategy, goal, all these things has to be explained. Followed by this, we need to explain about the background information of the business, followed by the kind of information which is relevant. Apart from the business objectives, followed by the kind of key personnel, whoever is involving in the team to perform these in long run. So this is all comes under the company overview. When 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 third is when we are going for the third point, when we talk about analysis, the first thing is all about market analysis. Market analysis plays a vital and important role wherein we need to understand about the customer's profile. At the same time, we need to research the relevant industry trends and as well as trajectory and all that stuff. At the same time, we need to inform and make some informed guesses, all that. This is all something relating to market analysis. When we talk about SWOT analysis, nothing but strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. This is something, a general technique which we use is for everywhere. Because if you want to take a decision or if you want to implement something or to start something, SWOT analysis is essentially required. Because unless until if you don't do the SWOT analysis, so we won't be knowing about what is what are our strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. So that how to plan, why to plan, where to plan, and all everything will be decided by us accordingly. So that's what analysis of ours is important so that we'll have a clear understanding over what is that our, we are strengthened of, right? Where we are strong, where we are weak, and what are our opportunities, right? We may be getting in future and as well as the threats. So SWOT analysis simply nothing but strength and weakness, strength and weakness are the present tense. Opportunity and threat are the future tense. Means driving from present to future is what SWOT analysis stands for. So followed by the SWOT analysis, like competitive analysis, where we need to understand about the cost leadership differentiations, at the same time segmentations, all that. 
followed by this we have to explain about that list of products and as well as the services what is that are we providing to the people at the same time segmentation of the customers what kind of customers are we dealing with so either, either it could be geographically or something of that sort <laughs> so that sort of understanding is essentially needed this is all something relating to the customer segmentation so once the customer segmentation then we need to plan marketing right so how you are going to do this marketing and all everything so what are your planning of marketing like either it could be digital marketing or some other means and how you are going to operate your business that kind of operations plan is required at the same time logistics how the supply chain and logistics works in your organization followed by the financial planning right so what is your budget of investment uh, you are making it and at the same time if this is for that to invest someone in your business and all we need to expect we have to explain about the budget in detail to them because end of the day investors expect some our way out of it written of investment so for that we have to explain not only the business plan what is the budget we have decided so far what is that we have accumulated and what are our expectations from the investors outside or maybe you're going for partnerships or something whatever it is right so this is all comes under the financial plan and all that stuff so these are the points one has to understand when we are going to create a business plan all that stuff for more information as well as any kind of services if you require in reference to the business plan reports or market research reports all that stuff please reach out to the contact details which will be posted in below to this video thank you